Rai Kiriyama is a guy who's really good at playing shaji and also goes to high school. He lives by himself in an apartment. One day he goes to see his shaji teacher, Masachika Koda, at a shaji hall. Rai plays a game against Masachika and wins. Later his friend Hinata Kawamoto invites him to her house for dinner. Rai goes to the store to get some food and then heads to Hinata's house. There he meets Hinata, her older sister Akari, and younger sister Momo. While they're eating curry, they hear on the news that Shizuo Mungawa was killed in his house. His son Tadashi is suspected of the murder and has been arrested. After dinner, the sister's grandfather Someji Kawamoto visits and lets Rai stay the night. The next morning, Hinata is running late for school, so she rushes off. Rai has lunch with his high school teacher, Takashi Hayashida, on the school roof. Hayashida admits he's a bit jealous of professional shaji players. Later, Rie goes to the sweet shop run by the Kawamoto family. Finally, when he gets home, he finds the chubby shaji player, Harunobu Nikato, holding his mail. Rie got a letter in the mail about an upcoming shaji match. Harunobu, a chubby shaji player, personally delivered it, hoping they could become friendly rivals. Rie is getting ready for a tournament match called the NHK Cup in Sendagaya's shaji hall. His opponent, Issa Matsumoto, is lively and aggressive. Even though Issa loses, his friend Tatsuyuki Smith Misumi makes Rai treat them at a bar in Jinza where Akari works. Rai remembers meeting Akari outside the bar and going to her house in March Town to meet Hinata and Momo. In the present, Rie crosses a bridge to get to the supermarket in Jum Town. He bumps into the Kawamoto sisters there and gets invited to their house in March Town for dinner. Rei shares with Somiji that his parents are buried in Nagano. They eat rice and chicken for dinner, and Rie starts thinking about his empty past. Akari gives him leftovers as he leaves. A while ago, Rie and Harunobu had a shaji competition at an amusement park in the summer. Even though it was really hot, Harunobu didn't give up, but he eventually lost because he ran out of moves. Now in the present, Rie goes to the shaji hall and meets Issa and Smith. They tell him that Harunobu is all set for his match. Ri and Harunobu play a serious shaji game. Harunobu almost wins, but Ri stays cool and ends up winning. Hanaoka, Harunobu's butler, is back from his vacation and takes Harunobu home. Harunobu is even more determined to beat Rei in their next match. Later that night, Ri goes to the Kawamoto sisters' house for dinner. Akari lights a special fire to say goodbye to the spirits of her mom and grandma who passed away. She explains that she lit another fire to welcome them the night before. Hinata decides to go to the store alone to get some manga. Rei follows her, and they end up at pier. Hinata cries out for her mom who is no longer alive. Rei stays with her for a while, thinking about his own hidden feelings from losing his biological family. Rei and Akari are peeling chestnuts to cook. They find out that Hinata likes a guy named Yusuke Takahashi from middle school and wants to make him a homemade meal. Rei goes with Hinata to the store to get the ingredients she needs. On Sunday, Hinata rushes to cook the meal before going out. Rei visits Hinata's school and sees her watching Takahashi play baseball. After Takahashi hits a home run, Rei realizes Hinata really likes him. When Hinata can't give the meal to Takahashi, Rei stops her from throwing it away and walks her home. When Rei and Akari try the meal, it sadly tastes bitter and sour. Later, Harunobu is determined to come up with a special move the Bishop Exchange Crusher, to beat Rei in a practice match. While getting food, Rei and Harunobu meet the Kawamoto sisters, who invite them for dinner. Akari makes the perfect meal, and Hanaoka brings sweets from the sweet shop. When Rei was a kid, he used to play shoji with Masachika, a friend of his biological dad. One day, Akari asks Rei to pick up Momo from daycare. While walking home, Momo gets scared by a barking dog, and Rei helps her when she gets hurt. Cleaning up Momo's wounds makes Rei remember the sad times when his parents and sister died when he was little. When Akari and Hinata come back, Rei leaves because of these memories. At the funeral, Rei's relatives came and he agreed to live with Masachika and learn shaji. Rei lived with Masachika's daughter Kyoko, who is quick-tempered and his son Ayumu. Ayumu stopped playing shaji because of Rei's skills and Kyoko had to quit too, even though she loved it. Kyoko started running around town and Ayumi stayed in his room playing video games. After watching a documentary about Kaku Chicks, Rei decided to leave the Kota family to become a professional shaji player. It turns out that Masachika gave Rei the green sweater he wears now. Hayashida finds out that Rei won't join the high school study camp this year because he's a professional shaji player. 
Ri vaguely remembers Kyoko's harsh words from the past, but he thought he could find a place where he belonged if he could support himself with Shoji. When he first moved into an empty apartment, Rei spent a lot of time playing Shoji and some time going to school. In his second year as a pro, Rei lost two Shoji matches in a row, feeling like he was swimming across the ocean until he reached the shore. Hayashida talks to Rai about Toji Soya, a pro Shoji player who's been the Mijin since middle school. As Rei leaves school, he meets Hinata outside a fast food place. After Rai buys her a meal, Hinata gathers the courage to invite Rei to her house. This makes Rei think about the Kawamoto sisters. Suddenly, Takahashi shows up at the fast food place, and Hinata runs away in embarrassment. Rei feels intimidated by Takahashi's big size. When Takahashi figures out that Rei is a pro Shaja player, Rei talks about his choice to go back to high school after turning pro. Before Takahashi leaves the fast food place, Rei and Takahashi share contact info, just as Hinata comes back from the girls' restroom. Rei walks Hinata home, then goes to his apartment to think about how he influenced Takahashi's life. On Saturday at the Kawamoto sisters' house, Takahashi comes over to learn more about Shaji from Rei. Hinata cooks egg and chicken curry for dinner before Akari has to go to work at the bar. Hinata and Momo find out Rei is a pro Shaji player by watching a video of his match on TV. When Sameji comes home, Rei gets excited listening to Hironobu's comments on his bad move in the match. Later, Rei and Hironobu meet at the store, and they go to the Kawamoto sisters' house to teach Hinata and Momo how to play Shaji. When Rei gets too technical, Harunobu tries a simpler approach. Harunobu explains to Hinata and Momo how the Shaji pieces move, like the pawn, lance, knight, silver general, gold general, rook, bishop, and king. Rei is surprised to find out that Harunobu wrote and drew a cat themed kid's book about Shaji. Harunobu goes with Rei to his place and gives him a futon as a welcome gift. Later, Issa and Smith tell Rei that Harunobu talked about Rei's losing match because he wants to play against Rei in the finals. With three wins and three losses, Rei might drop down a class if he gets two degradation points. Akari, Inada, Momo, and Someji are interested in Shoji, and Rei thinks about how his real dad might feel about him being a pro Shaja player. When Rei gets back home, he finds Kyoko outside. He has to let her in, and she stays overnight. In the morning, Kyoko talks to Rei about the importance of winning his match against an older Shaja player named Shoichi Matsunaga. Rei has a tough choice, should he beat Matsunaga, making him retire after 40 years of being a Shaja player, or should he lose and move down a class? In the Shaja Hall, Rei can't figure out Matsunaga's plan, but he takes a risk and still wins. After the match, Rei treats Matsunaga to grilled eel. Matsunaga admits that Masachika had no personality, but Kyoko was a real troublemaker. Matsunaga talks about his hometown Fukushima and how a lord named Hoshina Masayuki had good policies in 1643. When Matsunaga is very drunk, Reya follows him to the pier. Matsunaga confesses he knew about Reya for a while. Before the match, Matsunaga was scared, but he faced Reya to conquer his fear. Even though Matsunaga lost, he decides not to quit Shaji because of Rie. Unfortunately, Matsunaga wants to keep playing Shaji so he can avoid doing chores at home. With Christmas around the corner, Kyoko calls Rai about leaving her watch at his place. They meet at the pier, and Rie gives back the watch. Kyoko tells Rie that his next opponent, Yasui, is planning to divorce his wife and gets into gambling if he loses in Shaji. Yasui's daughter wants to be with him until Christmas. Rei remembers Masachika giving him shaja pieces on a Christmas day from the past, while Kyoko and Ayumu got a teddy bear and a game console. At school, Hayashida invites Rei to a Christmas party because of his good grades, but Rei leaves before giving an answer. Rei goes to the shaja hall for his year-end match against Yasui. After a tough game, Yasui gives up because of a big mistake. Rei follows Yasui outside and returns his gift bag. Yasui takes it angrily, saying this will be his last Christmas with his family. Rei goes to a park and shouts out his frustration about Yasui being a weak player. On New Year's Eve, Rei is stuck in his apartment with a fever. The Kawamoto sisters show up unexpectedly and bring Rei to their house to get better. Rei finds out Masachika tried to reach him when his phone was off from Akari. While Hinata, Momo, and Somaji take a nap, Akari gives Rai rice with pickled plums, just like her mom did for her when she was sick. On New Year's Day, Hinata sees postcards in the mailbox. She hurries to get Rie's postcards from his place. 
he gets a postcard from Harunobu and Takenora Jinguji, the head of the Japan Shaji Association. Misaki, the sister's aunt, comes and tells Someji that Akari should work at the bar instead of taking care of the house all the time. Akari and Hinata make a great dinner for everyone. Misaki leaves after dinner, and Rhea goes to the guest room because the dining area is turned into a changing area. Rhea falls asleep comfortably afterward. A few days later, Rhea goes back to his apartment. He walks outside and thinks about the Kawamoto sister's house, which feels as warm as a kotatsu. With three important matches left this season and a record of four wins and three losses, he's focusing on a qualifying match for the Shishio tournament. This tournament has big prize money from a newspaper company. Rai wins his qualifying match against Takeshi Tsuji, who's known for his strong moves and not-so-funny jokes. Smith also wins his match by tricking his opponent Okuyasu Yokomizo. In the lobby, Rii and Smith meet pro Shaji player Masamun Goto. He thinks Kyoko is stalking him. Smith holds Rai back as Goto leaves. Jinyuji shows up with a bunch of fish, so Smith and Rai each take some. Rii gives his fish to Akari at the Kawamoto sister's house. After dinner, Hinata and Momo are sad that Reed can't stay overnight this time, but they support him for his semifinal match in the tournament against Kai Shimada.